Oh, y'all want to help daddy make a video? We're in the process of getting a playroom together uh, for our daughters and they're just toys and junk everywhere. So I decided to have some fun and pick three toys that we're going to turn into a monster team. Do you want to make some monsters? <laughs> There's a bunch of toys right here. I'm definitely thinking something with this one. Do you want to make one of this? Uh-huh. You think that could be a cool monster? Uh-huh. What's that's name? Does she have Ellen. a name? Ellen. 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 Okay, so I realized that she was saying alien and not calling him Alan, but we're still gonna call this little guy Alan. And when I said little guy, we are changing that here uh i just kind of envisioned like a, a swampy just gross kind of ogreish looking uh alien just really disgusting really gnarled teeth with a spring coming out of the bottom and maybe he like bounces on on top of you and smashes you and then eats you and your soul and your family and your kids and your village and yeah but this is this is the outline right here but now I'm just Daddy. trying to fill the... Okay, here's my daughter. She wants to do a little bit of a voiceover. Okay, now that I want you to, you're not going to do it. But uh, for the coloring and everything, we just give them a really, like, swampy, uh, rubbery texture to the skin. We're not at that part in the video yet. Uh, right now, we're just laying flats. But I kept it pretty much the same as the, uh, the toy itself. Here we go. Adding some shading. Um... Oh yeah, we're getting those teeth going. I, did, I went back and added some blood and stuff to the teeth uh, later on, adding some of the lighting here. Um, Nora, do you have anything to say for the voiceover? I don't know why you and your sister can never leave me alone when I'm trying to record these, but, and here we go, here's Alan the alien. And then let's look through here. Okay, here's two monsters, but we're not gonna use those. Oh, looks hilarious when it just sits up right there. Why are you cooking the swan? No. <laughs> I'm seeing this one. I think this could be like a cool little half furry, half robot dog. What this? What's this one saying? Um, Ella. Really clever name, Vivian. I never would have thought of Ella. Thank you. Um, for this one, I was thinking of a robotic dog, as I said earlier in the video. Sorry if you hear Nora in the background. She, uh, is, she's still here. Um, but I wanted to make the, the body kind of fluffy. I went through iterations on whether I wanted to add robotic legs, how I wanted the robot parts to be in here. I decided to just make, uh, put her like in maybe like a robot suit. Um, but this one ended up turning out really cute. Looks like it could be maybe a Paw Patrol character. Uh, Vivian's been watching a bunch of Paw Patrol lately. Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol, be there on the double. Uh, anyways, I looked at the toy and she actually had a dog tag that said Violet. Um, so I went with that and just named her Violet. That's better than Ella. Um, no offense, Viv, but Ella, that's just very basic. Um, but I wanted this dog to look uh, kind of rugged, kind of like it's been through some stuff. So we added a bunch of texture to this one, gave it a glowing cyborg eye uh, to represent the circle around the toy's eye. Thought that was pretty cool. And then uh, just gave it some of the buttons that are on the toy. And that's really about it. Nora, here you go since you want to talk. All right, thank you for that. And we're getting towards the end here. We're just adding some lighting, some shadows, all that kind of stuff. Like I said, some texture. And here is Violet, AKA Ella, the robot dog. Nora, hey, did you poop? Sticky poop. Hey, stop making poop jokes. Sticky. Stop. I think we could definitely make this one into a little monster. Hey, it kind of looks like you, Nora. What's this one's name? A baby. Again, Vivian, thank you for coming through with such an original name. I appreciate that. But this one right here is, I think, by far my favorite. It just ends up looking uh, hilarious. And uh, I just kind of imagine uh, what if this little toy like what if what if something like this tiny was just running around my house like a little gremlin um just but maybe maybe she's just like a little friendly 
um, little monster, and she uh, runs in, you know, kind of scurries around like a little mouse, and gets food, and uh, poops all over the place. Um, the last house me and my wife lived in, it had a, it ended up having a very, very big mouse problem, and we left our dog food uh, open in a bag, and it got into all the dog food, and they just, they began just over running our house, and it was a pretty rough time. We had to uh, end up killing like seven mice. Uh, I'm not even talking about the design here, the design choices, but I think we see where I'm coming from on most of the um, coloring and the look of this creature here uh, without me going too far into it. But the mice, they actually ended up getting into my wife's wedding dress and ruining it and peeing and pooping and tearing it um, to shreds. It was a sad day, but I think my wife might be over it now. I don't know. Um, I honestly think I may have taken it harder than she did. It made me really sad. Um, Jamie, I'm sorry about your wedding dress. I love you, but I'm glad that we don't have a mice problem anymore. Here is a baby, and here is the whole collective uh, daughter toy monster team. That's a good name.